Hey, hey you guys, welcome back to Perfume Vegas. I'm Holly Golightly, and today I want to share with you some tips and tricks about using perfume oils. If that interests you and you want to hear more, just stay tuned. Welcome back, you guys. I hope that you're enjoying the Halloween content. I am having to film quite a bit all at once, so I'm not sure what videos you're seeing in what order. So I hope that you're enjoying regardless. I am here today to talk to you about perfume oils. Now this is specifically indie perfume oils um, from indie houses in the US. I have, do make that distinction because I am not familiar with um, like Arabic perfume oils and attars. So that sort of thing I don't know much about and I don't want to imply that the perfume oils I'm speaking of are about that as well. So if you're interested in knowing about indie perfume oils and want to maybe experience them, not sure how to use them, or you know, just want to know some best practices, this is the video for you. So tip number one, indie oils cannot be used in a spray bottle. I think it goes without saying, but some people may be like me and have to learn the hard way, <laughs> but perfume oils cannot be used with an atomizer type of bottle. Um, when you buy a perfume oil, it will come in usually one of three types of containers, a glass vial with no stopper, a glass vial with stopper, or a glass roller ball. The best way to use a perfume oil is to distribute an even amount on your pulse point and make sure that the scent is heated up either by allowing it to rest there or by lightly applying friction. Not heavy friction, not rubbing your wrists together, but tapping or otherwise heating the fragrance so that the oils can begin to release the fragrances. The oils can begin to release the fragrance. The bottles themselves range from clear to amber glass to cobalt blue to green Coke bottle style of glass vials. I've seen all of them. The most common is an amber glass vial. The preferred style is the amber glass vial because it keeps the perfume oil darker and helps retain the um the humidity level and just keeps out all of the elemental things that we know breaks down perfume oil heat humidity light all of that of course if you store your perfume oils in your bathroom they are going to break down much faster than if you store them in a cool dry location but the amber glass or the cobalt glass or even the coke bottle green glass helps prevent that light from coming in and disintegrating that's a totally the scientific term <laughs> disintegrating the perfume molecules number two Perfume oils can be used for more than just perfuming your skin. Because these fragrance oils are almost entirely either naturally natural or naturally derived, not chemically derived synthetic scents, they are a lot safer for skin, hair, nails, basically anything except for ingesting. Um, you don't want to put them in your eyes or in your mouth. Um, it is always advised for pregnant and nursing mothers to hold off on applying the oils to their skin, as is common for all uh, aromatherapy essential oil type of products. But unlike alcohol, perfume, perfume carried in alcohol, it's not going to dry out your hair. You can add it to body lotion, unscented body lotions without it drying out your skin. Um, if you find that you have a perfume oil that just doesn't work for you when you apply it onto your skin, you can use it in um, like oil diffusers, perfume, not scented oil diffusers, or with scented oil diffuser reeds. There's a lot of diversity that you can do with 
perfumed oils that help you use the product and not let it go to waste. Unlike with traditional carried in oil or carried in alcohol style perfumes, where if you don't like the scent on your skin, other than spraying it out into the room, it, there's really not much you can do with it. So I do like to use perfume oils in my hair. In fact, I almost always have a perfume oil from some indie brand or another that doesn't really work on my skin, but I do like the fragrance that I am combining with whatever that I am combining with whatever my current hair oil is at the moment to fragrance it. Number 3. There are fragrances or more specifically, there are fragrance notes that work better in oil, and there are notes that work better in alcohol. If you have if you have been interested in oil perfumery for some time, you'll notice that most perfume oils utilize heavier notes, even for top notes. Um, they utilize heavier citrus notes or heavier floral notes, um, and then base notes are usually deeper, richer, a little bit more of a um, darker sort of composition. Is another reason why this I should speak, this is one of the reasons why. Um, indie brands tend to come to life during the fall and winter and are producing much more fragrances than in spring and summer. The spring summer fragrance catalogs are usually smaller and the offerings tend to lean toward more of a like floral green type of fragrance because the free to year fresher crisper sort of notes just seem to not work in oil quite as well. I don't know. I'm not a chemist. I don't know why that is. I'm also not a perfumer, so I don't know why that is. Um, but if you go into any indie perfume brand and you look at their master scent catalog, you'll see a lot of fragrances with notes like vanilla, tonka, patchouli, myrrh, frankincense, um, tobacco, resins, wood, cedar, sandalwood, and then heavier florals, um, heavier white florals like orange blossom, ylang ylang, jasmine, um, lots of fantasy notes as well, ocean, seashore, mountaintop, rain, that sort of thing. Things that for some reason just seem to work better in oil than like very light citrus scents. Those scents are carried better in alcohol. And the final tip that I want to give you for starting out with perfume oil is don't be afraid. <laughs> Yes, a lot of it you have to apply with your fingers, and yes, a lot of it is going to be a different style of fragrance than you may be used to, um, but once you get used to being able to play and experiment with like these amazing creations that people are coming up with, you're going to fall in love and you'll have a wish list a mile long. It's just like any other perfume obsession. Niche, designer, indie, it's all going to be the same. And perfume oils are a great way to be able to play with fragrance, to layer fragrance even with your alcohol-based scents and get something totally new and experience something totally different with perfumery. If you haven't tried oil-based perfumes yet, I highly advise you to at least give it a shot. There's tons of great brands and there's so many different people out there, companies out there, indie houses out there creating fragrance that you can absolutely find one that matches your scent 
personality and what you prefer in a perfume. I've been using indie perfumes and oil perfumes for many, many years, and I'd be happy to answer you more questions about them if you are interested. If you have more questions, leave them down below. If I get enough, I'll do a Q&A sort of style video, and if not, I'll just, res I'll, <laughs> I'll just respond to you in the comment section below. I hope that this video was helpful, that was educational, that gave you confidence to go out and start investigating and experimenting with indie oil perfumes and if it did i feel like that is a job well done if you think so too give this video a thumbs up if you want more content about indie perfumes niche perfumes luxury and designer perfumes subscribe i will be back with a new video very soon until then have a wonderful day